Sunday, I'm Jimmy Wag. I'm going to be with you right the way through till two o'clock. But somebody mentioned a TV channel, and I dipped my toe in the waters of Talking Pictures TV. And if you've uh, come across this channel and you want to talk about it, because it is... I just made a note of some of the programmes that were available this week. And again, maybe you probably need to be 50 and upwards to remember some of these. But these were important programmes in my youth. I came across to, over the course of just looking at this TV channel just for a couple of days. William Tell, Robin Hood, the real Robin Hood with Richard Green. None of your... These Hollywood actors pretending they're Robin Hood. I'm talking about the real Robin Hood, Richard Green. Budgie with Adam Faith, Rumpole of the Bailey. Not to mention all these films with those actors. And by those actors, I mean Gene Kent, Thora Heard, Kathleen Harrison, young Donald Sinden. Heady stuff, but if you've not dipped your toe into those particular TV waters, it is well worth finding. It's uh, on Freeview, you don't need to have a subscription channel around, but it really is rich, rich pickings. If you're into talking pictures, tune into the channel at 9 pm tonight and you can watch Sunday night at the London Palladium. It's from the 60s, and Jimmy Tarbuck is the host. See what you think. Some of the acts are great, and some of them are terrible. Well, to be honest, Graham, I think that pretty much appertains to the whole of the channel, because they show some old films, some of which you go, oh, flipping heck, I love this film, but they also show some which are absolutely bobbins. It's quite easy to flick through them and not actually bother to dwell long enough for something to register with you but after a conversation last week what did register with me was the idea of talking pictures and I went back and you will find all these old films from the 40s and 50s some good some bad all featuring people like those names that you remember from way back when Gene Kent, Thora Heard, Kathleen Harrison those type of actors the films Hit and miss as you'd expect. But in amongst it are, is stuff like William Tell, but the real William Tell with Conrad Phillips and uh, Robin Hood, but the real one, Richard Green, not any of the ones, Kevin Costner and all that stuff. None of that nonsense. The real, going back to the 50s, The Adventures of Sir Lancelot, Rumpole of the Bailey. The gentle touch with Jill Gascoigne is in there and Budgie with Adam Faith. Do you remember Budgie? It was a kind of, in a certain cheeky chappy making a way in the world, a bit like a forerunner to Minder, really. But you will find the odd nugget in there. But it is worth, if you are flicking through the channels, rather than just always say, oh, I don't really watch this and move on. If you come to one that says talking pictures, just have a delve before you do your moving. And Peter Nichols has been on to say, the channel you're talking about, I watch Sir Lancelot, William Tell, Sir Francis Drake and Robin Hood. The channel, in case you missed us talking about it before, is called Talking Pictures. And if you'd have a certain vintage, so when you used to come home from school, and I'd be talking now probably late 50s, so you'd be watching these programmes on black and white telly with about a nine-inch screen that would be three foot thick. So if you put it up against the back wall, you could barely get the front door open. But it was what it was, but we used to watch Conrad Phillips as William Tell. We used to watch Richard Green as Robin Hood. And I think, was the other one? Didn't Roger Moore, way back when, play Ivanhoe? Again, let me know if, you, if you're certain. Who played Ivanhoe? I think it's Roger Moore when he used to live on Manor Avenue in Sale. 0800 218 Oh, Brian in Poynton says, Jim, last week you missed my wee joke when I mentioned Doctor Who. The Daleks come from Devon. I said to one, whereabouts in Devon? And he says, ex-termate. Exertermate, exertermate. You won't believe who I'm going to be talking to in the next few minutes. I'm going to give you a little bit of a clue. 
Virgin 445 Freeview 81. We've talked about it quite at length over the previous couple of hours, but the next guest, talk about chapter and verse. You will not believe it. Coming your way on BBC Radio Manchester. I was going to regale you with Odyssey and native New Yorker, but I'm too concerned I want to talk to my next guest. I've been talking about this TV channel that I've come across. Somebody mentioned it last week. So this week I've been watching Talking Pictures, and on I've got Virgin at home, so it's 445. On Freeview it's 81. And Miss Consternation... I've just been on to say on Sky it's 3 to 8 and it's all films from the 40s, 50s, 60s with those names that we all, well those of us of a certain vintage all remember Kathleen Harrison and Gene Kent and Donald Sindon and people like that but intermixed with the films the films are films aren't they some you'll love, some you'll say oh it doesn't wear its age so well but the TV programmes take you right back to your youth and in my case the early days of black and white telly tiny screen no remote controls you have to get up and turn it over you only had a choice of bbc and itv this predates even bbc too and the program's absolutely milestone our childhood william tell but the real william tell with conrad phillips robin hood not kevin costner richard green the real robin hood and just before i talk to me guest someone's just sent a message in talking about talking pictures william tell all right smarty pants who was william's arch enemy lamberger gessler of course lamberger gessler now this lady is sarah cronin good afternoon sarah Hello there. And would you like to tell us your occupation, please? <laughs> I don't have an official job description, but me and my dad run Talking Pictures TV. Well, congratulations. What a wonderful idea. Oh, thank you. I, th- I think we just thought that, that nobody wanted to watch black and white anymore and none of the big channels seemed interested at all. And we went round the houses and said, guys, we want to launch this channel that's purely black and white, a bit of colour splashed in, but, you know, taking people back to the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And everybody in the TV industry said we were mad. No, I think you picked the perfect time in something like a pandemic. I think there are, there's a definite yearning, Sarah, for a simpler, earlier world, don't you think? Absolutely. You want to see our post bag. I mean, we launched five years ago. We're not brand new just I know, I know that, but <laughs> it's, so, it's sort of, it's found its perfect niche, I think, in the pandemic. Yeah, because it's a safe haven. We, we don't play the news. We're taking everybody back to a time where they feel safe and something interesting, you know, and I think, um, I think people crave nostalgia at, at these awful, difficult times. You know, it's nostalgia we all want. So where do you decide which programmes do get in and which ones don't? (laughs) Uh, Everybody thinks we've got this magical little shelf behind the projector and we just sort of decide which film reel we're going to put on next. But sadly, it's it's all um, it's all a bit complicated. We we have a big archive that Noel, my dad, brought years ago when nobody was interested in the British B film. He started buying up all the rights, which was a really wise decision and then the rest of them we we go through we listen to viewers requests obviously and um and our own film and tv history knowledge and and we license them from the people that own them still so you know richard glenn riding through the through the glen um we've paid um itv so that we can play that for everybody again now sarah i don't i would be never so ungallant to ask a lady her age but you're obviously a lot younger than me so when you watch william tell with painted mountains and scenery do you get it i do get it i do get it very much so but i'm i'm very passionate about film history and tv history and i've been brought up in a house with <laughs> covered in film cans where we couldn't open the door and Norman Wisdom would come and stay for a couple of days to make a film and so uh, it's not it's not a new world to me um, and I am slightly longer than my uh, target audience I suppose but Dad's 73 um, and he works every day he makes the schedules for the channel by paper you know it's not a computer software he hand writes everything by card and I think I think I love shows hopefully well yeah I think it does because I'm a similar vintage to your dad, I'm 66, but as soon as if somebody says to me, William Tell, I don't know how many films have been made in the interim about William Tell with whoever, however famous playing William Tell. To people of my generation, William Tell is black and white 
and it's Conrad Phillips. There is no alternative. <laughs> so it is, it is so evocative, Sarah. It's difficult to put into words. It is. I think Danny Baker once said we were like a cup of soup on a day off school. Um, and I think that kind of sums it up. But what, one of the best things I think about what we show is not about who the leads are, but who who went on to be big in the films that we're showing. So um, there was an episode of Sir Lancelot the other day with Leslie Phillips in. Um, <laughs> I, I watched um, Michael Caine in um, an episode of Robin Hood the other day. Very young Michael Caine. Not a lot of people know about that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the great thing is is spotting who the third broom handler on the left was, and blow me down, it's Jean Kent, you know. And then and then two hours later, we've got her as the star in a film. Well, somebody texted me last week, Sarah, and said they were watching a film on your channel, and they saw uh, a, 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 what was his name? I can't remember him. Sam somebody, but a, Sam Kid. Sam Kid. He was in everything in the fifties and sixties. Sam Kid's in every film I ever play. Ever. I don't think the guy ever slept. <laughs> but according to the text of last week, he played three characters in the same film. <laughs> Wouldn't be unusual for dear Sam. <laughs> oh, dear I, Sam. I take it this is an absolute labour of love for you and your dad then? Yes, it's certainly not a commercial decision. <laughs> I can tell Can't you Can't you make any money out of it, no? Not at the moment, no. Hopefully, eventually, one day. I mean, we're we're five years in at the moment, but yeah, you know whenever it'll happen eventually but have you got any new like treats on the horizon for people of my vintage to look forward to uh lots yeah lots we've got um we own the southern tv archive so we've got some bits coming back from that we've got a run around with mike reed oh, you know yeah. go 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 you wallies <laughs> i think that'll be interesting run around with mike reed yeah, sleeping yeah. heck uh, yeah um we've got I'll tell you what, there's a really, really good um, film on tonight. Six o'clock, we've got a Cary Grant, The Grass is Greener. So we do play big films as well. Um, so Cary Grant, six o'clock. And then tonight, 10 o'clock, is a really unknown British film with Frida Jackson. And it's called No Room at the Inn. It's going to make you cry. It won't cheer you up. But it is one of the best British films I've ever seen. Well, I, you had me at Cary Grant. I think he was one of the great underestimated actors. I know he always played pretty much Cary Grant, but it was yeah. a great character, wasn't it? He's also gorgeous, which sort of helps. Oh, Sarah, it's honestly, we've been talking about talking pictures over the past uh, couple of weeks, and I think it has just caught public imagination. It is perfect TV for the situation that we find ourselves with lockdown. It's been a treat, and tell your dad, if for nothing else, I he, I, he has my enduring love for Aww. reintroducing me to William Tell and Richard Green as Robin Hood. Take no imposters, Sarah. Forget your Kevin Costner. It's <laughs> not the real deal. Richard Green's the only Robin Hood. Oh, thank you so much for your support. It makes such a difference. People spreading the word. I, I can't tell you. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Sarah. Take care. Best of wishes Take to care. your dad as well. I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sarah Cronin, co-founder of Talking Pictures. Hey, now you could have watched it tonight and say, don't know what the fuss is about a load of old bobbins, but it is. You probably, if you're 20 or 25, you're not going to get it, are you? Because William Tell wasn't one of the first TV programmes you ever watched on your first ever black and white telly. But if you are of a certain vintage, and if you enjoy films from that era, and certainly TV programmes, I mean, it's not just 50s and 60s. More up to date is the gentle touch of seeing Rumpole of the Bailey and the excellent Budgie with Adam Faith. So well worth having a dent. And before you ask, I'm not being paid to promote talking pictures. It just caught my imagination. And I think it is partly to do, at least, with the times that we've just recently been living through when it's perfectly natural, I think, to yearn for a simpler more innocent time. Odyssey, native New Yorker. What a great Sunday morning record that is. Absolutely excellent. And what a lovely to hear from Sarah, a co-founder of the Talking Pictures channel. And on that, Tony Snape says, Talking Pictures, brilliant. Kept us occupied during lockdown. With you, Tony, absolutely perfect for lockdown. And our Eamon's been on. He said, you've heard you talking about Kathleen Harrison. Who remembers Kathleen Harrison in Mrs Thursday? I said, remember the programme? Was she a char in it? Maybe a, a char. I'll have to look it up on Thinterweb. And Chris Morley's been back on. 
Uh, there's a film called on Talking Pictures called A Couple of Beauties. It stars Bunny Lewis, but what makes it special to me, most of it was filmed in the old Mersey Hotel. I grew up across the parkway on Mersey Bank Estate, and although I rarely went in, it's great to see it. There's even a scene of phone box on the parkway near Wilbraham Road. Thank you, Chris, and I'm like you. There's no rhyme or reason to it, but when you see somewhere you know on the telly it just it does give you a bit of a lift doesn't it no rhyme or reason as to say but it definitely works for me as well as for you Eileen in Radcliffe here love talking pictures channel me and my brother Jeff play a game of spot Sam kid <laughs> we, we whatsapp each other if he pops up in a film and someone did tell me I didn't see it myself that Sam kid had popped up in a film playing three different roles <laughs> 